it is time for the next episode, the next chapter of the story for Dragon Ninja High Season 2, where we last left off, the final battle had began. Kratos had arrived in the underworld as Zeus began his invasion. Our four heroes, who are now down to three due to slash previous death, are now having to survive. Rebecca has begun to train herself in the power of the wind, while Jake is having to fend for himself using the dragon beast form. And Quit is using his new technology provided to him by a surprisingly advanced underworld technology. is allowing him to fight back against the hordes of the underworld who are now turned against Hades by Zeus's mind control. Hit hey, that! It was then where the mysterious wolf, who was covered in armor, arrived. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> the wolf began to tear through the army as Quint escaped. Rebecca continued to try to feel the wind as Kratos had busted in, now engaged in a battle with the dragon beast, Jake. Dragon beast form, I can't control myself. You probably can't even fully understand what I'm saying. Not even I do. I lose control. Not the wildlife. I'm feeling in more control than I did the very first time I used this form. But no matter, you shall die today, Kratos. <laughs> Foolish mortal! I've been given the rank of God by Zeus. I will defeat you. Why do you think I know this booming voice? I can understand you perfectly, for I've begun to enter my own form. The Spartan Beast form. <laughs> if it's a battle you won, it's a battle you'll get, Kratos. It does not matter what kind of power you have. Meanwhile, the pink ore continued to surround Rebecca as she felt the breeze get stronger and stronger. What is this? The wind began to flow through her hair as she could feel herself kind of changing as she looked towards her hands and saw it was like her hands were sort of melting into wind itself. What? What's going on? Meanwhile, Hades and Zeus began their battle. You can't win this, brother. This is madness. This is not who you are. Usually media depicts me as the bad guy. Well, clearly, they don't know the truth. Had they known what truly happened to you, had they known that you became a fallen god, then they wouldn't be nearly treating you as nicely as they do. They would understand what you truly are. I am the father of the Greek gods, brother. Nothing you say or do can stop me from ruling the world and recrafting it in my own image. Today, you've chosen war with a god. Guess you forgot I was a god as well, brother. And you are in my domain, the underworld. Today, you die. No matter what. Meanwhile, in other caves within the underworld, Jake and Kratos were having the final battle in their dragon beast and Spartan beast forms, respectively. Feel the rage of the dragon ninja, Kratos. You die. Now and forever. I need no redemption, especially not from a 15-year-old boy who became a ninja, not by his own choice, but because he was forced to, and simply stuck around because I got a special little power of a dragon. Even yourself knows now that you really have the soul of a dragon, you're really a reincarnation of the very first. You're nothing special. All you got is a power from your previous life that will not save you from the rage of a Spartan. 
Although, Zeus is a bit different from how he once was, it does not matter. I pledged loyalty, and loyalty means everything to a Greek warrior. No matter how unorthodox my dragon training was, Kratos, at least it has more honor than fall the bodies of a god who doesn't even believe in your own ability. Beast, dragon strike! Dragon training? You can't even remember the name of your training. You became a ninja. But I can't deny. You may have a point. And neither were these blood marks for that beast dragon strike. You cannot face the power of the beast Spartan Spear. The battle continued for hours upon hours. In some ways it felt like days. And by the end of it, both warriors were bleeding. Beast, Dragon, Ninja, Jake, now bleeding glowing blue blood as a result of his power as electricity flowed around him, and Kratos of blood as in flames as his blue markings began to bleed themselves of a flaming hot aura. He said, Though I question your judgment, I can respect your honor and drive. I will help you, for Zeus himself has now begun to cross a line. I can sense it. He's willing to wipe out humanity if it means he can reshape the world in his image. No human cell will return to worshiping him and him alone. And only know me as the warrior who simply served him. There's no honor in that. I shall help you. For the one thing, the one thing that could defeat him was sealed in me. For that, I end my own life. Kratos, no! Kratos plunged his shattered swords to his chest as his body blew up in a glowing light as a blue orb came to Jake with Kratos merely saying that he will know what to do in his heart. Meanwhile, in the battle between Hades and Zeus, pink wind began to surround the area as Rebecca had mastered her wind powers, and she spoke in a powerful voice. Today, the battle of the gods ends. For now, I am the master of wind, and you will fall today. The rocks around the area shattered, for dragon beast, Jake jumped out and spoke, saying, Zeus, your most loyal minion has fallen, for he realized what you were doing wrong and has given me this. So he has betrayed me, giving you the orb of power. No matter, all, all he did was probably tell you that the power was in your heart and that you knew it was. You don't truly know how to challenge its power. It was right there and then the armored wolf with Quint on its back spoke in a loud voice. I have returned to aid my friends once more. And Dragon Beast Jake spoke one last word, closing this chapter of the story. Slash. Is that you?